Hello Sugar Minks and welcome to a new video. Sorry, just bang my head. Um, where in today's video I am currently making my way back. I'm going to tell you what was in that video. That little scene just then at the start was me looking at a lighting glitch. Yeah, pretty cool. If you don't know what that's from, that is from what is going to happen just about now. In the previous video, I said that in the next video, I was going to have more stone, cobblestone, to complete this achievement. Let's see if I actually gathered enough cobblestone to fit in this chest and get me that achievement. Excuse me? Achievement? Achievement. 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 I need to put 1,728 pieces of cobblestone into a chest. It turns out that I had not enough. Look at that. Chest full of cobblestone. Basically exactly a whole entire chest. I actually got one more cobblestone when I was getting out. But that's pretty cool. And... I've started to build a little area to where I am going to put all of my achievement things. So this is going to be one of the areas where I'm going to build some achievement things. I'm going to quickly get some food and I think that's about it. Okay, I have done that and I've got loads of wood. And I am just about ready to do it. So what I'm first going to do is I'm going to make a little ring around this. I haven't actually planned this, it is sounds like i'm like so first of all what i'm going to do it just literally what i just thought of definitely not a tutorial so all i'm going to do is just go to do a simple little path leading up this i remember at one point my only purpose of playing minecraft was to make paths all around the world okay so this is the path it goes down here and up onto here and I went up there because I need to get an axe. And like the going, like the little achievements are going to be like along here. Pretend these are achievements and they're going to be like along here, like this. So I'm going to put the first achievement down. I'm actually going to get that piece of cobblestone to replace it uh, for a piece of cobblestone to put it on top, which um, I think is a really, really good idea. Here is the stone. This chest here is an actual chest with the cobblestone in it, but I'm just going to use it for display because, of course, I want to use the cobblestone. Um, there we go. And I'm also going to go get a item frame. Pretty cool. How much leather do I have? Let's see. Oh, I already took the leather in my pocket so I can do it. Looks like I'm more prepared than I thought. So they should... I, I don't have enough six sticks. They should be here. There we go. I do know how to play Minecraft. Then I should go down here. Go down here. No, not really. I've got a piece of cobblestone here. Pretty cool. Quite like that. Anything? I think that's pretty good. First project needs some fences. So I'm going to craft some sticks. As you can see, I've already got some sticks from the overload of sticks I made. And that should probably be enough. And I've also got to extend this platform to a three by three. The last two are going in. That's the three by three part done. Now I just need to put fences like this going up like this. It's easier than you think. No, it's harder than it looks because you've got to line it up on the tiny hitbox. Can you see like the black outline that it that is its hitbox? And as you can see, it's it's quite small to be able to place on, and that. 
once I've connected this up, I say, no, not quite. Dun dun, 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 I did it, there we go. Oh no, I've still got to do this bit. That is done, this lovely little path, I need to add stairs one day, but as you can see, I have only got eight wooden planks, so that will not be enough to make enough stairs. But as you can see, looks like I cannot fall off this place. Pretty good. Now I've got to like, I'm not going to do that today. Because I've got a different project I want to work on. I will be needing some cobblestone, so I'm just going to take that much. Which should be enough, because I've got a cool project which I'm going to tell you about once I actually get there. Okay, so this is the place where I wanted to do it. This looks like it should be okay. So I'm going to go 50 blocks from here. So one, no. One, two, three, four, five. You get the idea. Okay, so over here, what I, what I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little pen over here. So I've got to have like this. So I don't know if you know. This is a bit of a life hack for you. See, I can't jump over this, but I can jump on this. But the only problem, the only good thing about it is that um. Mobs can't jump up on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this one open for so basically what I'm going to do is it's the kill a killer so with bow and arrow from fifty blocks away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower it into here, then it's going to try get me, and then I'm going to place that and place that. And then I'm going to run over here. So it's going to be right here. Pretty cool, right? So this is going to be how it is. And I believe that they can't track you. Like uh, the tracker AI can't track you from over here, which I think is pretty cool. <coughs> going to remove some trees to make my aim a bit better. Not as many distractions, and not as many things to hit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this little thing here grab that and then I'm going to stand up I am um, I meant I'm going to stand up onto here do this and build a quick roof top of this place I'm so not used to being able to fly like I can on Jake Bink's survival camp which you should watch you, you should it's it's pretty good I haven't uploaded in a while because I been doing this but um hopefully you like that series tell me if you like that because that will give me an idea of what you like i didn't catch it on camera but i just killed a pig and i got three pork shops pretty good actually um a, a, a free pork chop in one pig that's pretty good and i finished off that project over there and then now I'm just going to uh, do a bit of mining, which you don't have to see. And obviously, I'm I'm playing terribly today. This looks and seems so smart when you come up this place and you see this. It's a bit uh, a bit odd, but it's quite nice. Um, I quite like it here. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to do this actually quite quick. Well, close to my base, I meant. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig straight down but I'm going to do it the safe way if you don't know that it's basically where you stand in between two blocks so if there's lava you won't fall into it which is a pretty cool idea I've got a really good position look I break that block then I break that block I'm not even moving uh, where I'm looking it's insane just ruin it just ruined it with some coal this is why you don't dig straight down. Because this might happen. Yes, I found redstone. I actually need some redstone to create a watch you. Pretty cool. 
then. Yes, it was. Yes, it was. And that's why you don't dig straight up. Or you might get a bit hurt. I say a bit hurt, I always get killed. I'm going to go back up to my base. Because, um, I really don't want to be killed. <laughs> yeah. What idea I reckon going back up, and by the looks of things, it seems to be night time, which is great. I'm going to deposit my items and then I'm going to go do the challenge. I got here too late, obviously, and by the looks of it, there are no skeletons. Oh no, too late, right? Oh no, we're not. We're not. Get out of bed. Get out of bed. Uh, boom. I got out. Oh no. I wasn't quick enough. I wasn't quick enough. But the good thing is that I was prepared for this. What I've done is I have saved the world before I have gone and done this. So. That means if I'm quicker, I can do it. I also know what I need to take with me. Now, because of course, I made that decision just then. When I was doing it, so I know what to grab and what not to grab. So I need this. I need this. I need that. I need that. And I need that that as you can see was a lot quicker that has an invisibility i was too late i was too late no i'm not come here come here did that wrong did definitely did that wrong got to do this come on Come on, I've got this. I need to kill you to get enough. Oh, oh, come. Oh, I'm glad that happened because I didn't have to take a bow. That would have been terrible. You should destroy this. Didn't realise I haven't destroyed it already. Wait a minute, let's go test if this works. Nope, they're smart. I remember AI's being dumb. No. I just want to test if this works on you. No. No. Obviously, I'm not that good at this. This time, I didn't save and quit. Tell you why. I wasn't prepared enough. I didn't think it through enough. So, the errors I had with that was I had no bow and arrow. No, I had no bow or arrows. I had no food. And the most important detail no bow and arrow, I was going to say that again, but <laughs> obviously I could not have done that without that equipment. So what I better go do is I better go go back to my base, which is here I am, and eat. And do some stuff and get ready, I guess. That's how I explain it. But don't worry, that I do have something to do while I do not actually have a um it's not actually night time yet so the thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a dispenser because of course i now have yes look dispense with this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you the achievement here it is dispense with this construct a dispenser and here is this dispenser. 
and I can actually put an arrow in it if I want to set it off but I'm not going to do that because I actually need some arrows right now so thanks for that oh sorry thanks for that um this is uh, looking pretty good so far I quite like this um yeah looks like um this is coming quite coming along quite nicely so I'm going to break a hole here place that like that that looks pretty cool now I'm going to go get a axe real quick yes I am cutting down trees but I'm replanting them everywhere which I seem to like worry about I, I worry about it like I worry about it in real life well not as much as real life because I really worry about the trees in real life I like I, I'm I actually worry quite a lot about the trees. It's always in like the back of my mind that, like, because of we, because of us cutting down the trees, could be the end of the human race. Which is something that I never thought would be able to happen. Trees equals the end of the human race think it's crazy it's crazy to think about I quite like the f feeling no think thinky doodah thing but as you can see it's almost night so I'm going to quickly save the game and uh, yeah hopefully it's going to be good I think I know why like nothing's spawning because like nothing can spawn like and creep up on you like behind your back so I think I might need to unload this area Hopefully that will solve this problem. Hopefully. I hope. So, yeah. I'm going to go over here. I feel like that will, uh, like, reduce the mob cap, maybe, if I go over here. And, like, I've had something, like, about that. Like, I know what the mob cap is, but, like, something about, um, if you want other ch chunks. And then load them back up they will uh, have more mobs in them I could do that from mob farm <laughs> like I could literally just uh, load it and then unload it which um, which would boost the mob farm rates but I don't think it goes to, like that extent I think I've just um, I think I've just loaded a big amount I think Hopefully, <laughs> I think I've loaded a bit, a bit, I've unloaded it, so hopefully once I go back there, there'll be more mobs for me to go uh, put inside, which hopefully will go well, I don't know, you're going to watch this and see if it goes well. I see one up there, but I'm not going to be able to use that, I don't think anyway so yeah i'm going to i i want to kill you i i i want to kill you i i didn't mean it i i i so didn't mean it i i didn't mean that i i uh yeah sorry <laughs> 